Okay, this video is just to show in the Polology book there are 2D images on the pages. You know, they're not um, three dimensional images, they're on paper. So you get this point of view this half ball eclipse. That's a half ball hit here on the eight ball. Back there is a quarter ball on the four and a one eighth ball hit on the three. They're all from the perspective of this cue ball here. So looking straight on from here, the center of the cue ball through the center of the ghost ball that is right there behind the eight, that's a half ball. From this perspective, that's a quarter ball on the four and from here it is a eighth of a ball on the three way back there in the back. We're going to shoot all three of these here in a second. But if I were to snap a screenshot from right here, just of that, like this, that would show the half ball hit. You just have to imagine vertical line on the center of the balls and the vertical line center of that eight ball is where the edge of the cue ball is. So the edge of the eight ball has to be coming through the vertical part of the cue ball in the center there. I could peek up over top of it and see it. That's the beauty about a sphere. It doesn't matter if it's a 2D image or not. Because once we get up this angle, where we're actually standing and viewing the shot, we can still imagine this vertical, the vertical line through the center of that ghost ball splitting the outer surface of the eight ball. And it's a half ball shot. You can see it from here. You can see it from a 2D image way down even with the table. It really does not make a difference. Let's put this camera back up here into the holder. And go ahead and shoot these shots real quick. But just wanted to show the perspective from where it is, where everything is a lot easier than what sometimes the book makes it appear to be. So, let's move the ball out here. So, from this one cue ball position, I've got a half ball shot here, which I'm going to aim to split my tip. Straight, I'm going to go straight through the center of the cue ball, split my tip on the outer edge of the, of the eight. On the quarter ball, I'm actually aiming about a quarter inch or three tenths of an inch away from the outer edge of the ball, the left side of my shaft is going to end up being aimed about a quarter inch or three tenths or so away from the edge. And then out here I'm a whole chalk distance out for an eighth of a ball shot. I'm right in there. I can put a piece of chalk out there and I'll do that when I shoot that ball. I don't have contacts in. The doctor says I can't wear them for the next two weeks so I'm kind of poolless for a while. But We'll shoot these. I think they may be close enough. They're a little fuzzy but I'm just going to aim straight for the half ball here. I'm going to set it back up. And we'll shoot the quarter ball shot on the four. That's the one that's a little very fuzzy for me right now. But really don't think I'm going to make the eighth. It's hard to see the edge of the ball. But, let's do this, I'll take this little piece of chalk, we'll push it out here like this, kind of mounted in between a camera post here, so I don't want to walk around to the other side of the table and mess my camera angle up. So we're going to move this out here, about the best I can see it right there. I'm sure you can see it better, but what I'm doing is splitting my tip on the edge of the chalk out here on the end. That's an eighth of a ball shot. The quarter ball was here. The eighth is right there. Very fuzzy. Let's see. But I just wanted to show that perspective when you're standing behind the cue ball it doesn't matter if you're as tall as the cue ball and you're looking directly 
from the table surface to the back of the balls that would be the 2d image that you get in the book and some of the images in the book are overhead shots and then when you stand up and you get you get this profile from overhead overview the sphere it's the same thing if you just have to imagine these vertical a vertical line if we have a ball here and I'm sitting there center to center I'm imagining a vertical a vertical line right here that is the center of the ball not there but this whole vertical line is what I would be considered the center the the center of the ball the edge of the ball is this vertical line so when I aim through the center of the cue ball I'm aiming straight through the center of the cue ball for that vertical line that's right there then it doesn't matter if I'm if I've got a perception from way down low or if I'm up high I still know that that is where I'm aiming and it just makes it a little easier to look at it that way.